Hey, how y'all doing today? This is going to be a video specifically for solar beginners and off-grid power. These small power, these small solar panels right there, that little one there's a 10 watt, a 20 watt UL solar, and uh, another 20 watt UVG solar, and that is a little 10 watt uh, Go Power um, solar panel monocrystalline that's monocrystalline and those are polycrystalline solar photovoltaic panels and my wires are going right there and right there alongside there and they're going into my shop and I'll show you where I got my my stuff at and that's one two three four five panels and I'm using a PWM type charge controller which you know I like Morningstar or any of them are good but uh I'm using a little Morningstar 6 amp. That's called a Sun Saver 6 amp charge control. And I'm going to show you what it's doing. But this would be good for like in case you lost power during a hurricane or bad thunderstorm or something. If you want some, run some fans or refrigerator, TV, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to explain a little bit to you. Remember, remember the solar panels are, are. Okay, here, I'm going to say. Here's a Sun Saver 6. My solar panels, wires, are right here. They're, that's what you saw on the roof. They're coming down here. Alright. And they're coming in this bus bar here. Alright. All, all combined. Alright. And this is a voltmeter I got from Missouri when the solar. Really nice. It just shows me how many volts I'm putting out right now on my solar panel. And this is a 12 volt system now. And, uh... I'm not pulling a load right now on the amps right now. I mean, my batteries are fully charged. And this is a PWM type charge controller. It's good for six amps of solar panels. All right, and all right, you see the light is charging. All right. But anyway, here's how I got it wired up. Okay. My solar panels come into here. Come into here. And it goes in this bus bar here. Uh, and, and that goes into right here. I hope I'm making sense. And my battery, which is right here, that goes right into this bus bar. Okay. And then after that, and my negatives go into here from a battery. And my negatives also go from here to my bat to my battery also. And uh, same way with here with my solar, my negatives and positives. Negative I mean positives and negatives. And go in these bus bars. And I got these insulated off the wall. So they're safe. Anyway, I got the main, my main cables right here. My main cables from my charge, my battery cables. I'm using number 10, PV wire. Coming down. And right here. And you can see right here. And they go right to my battery. Right to my battery. See right there? That's the uh, positive side here. And here it is right here. Positive lead. Coming there. And my, my negative lead. And here's my inverter cables. Right here. Come from right here. Right here. And uh, right here. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. And they're going to my inverter. And that's, that's it. That's an off-grid system. Another thing. I'm going to tell you something else, too. Another thing is, solar is not that hard, all right? It's really not that hard. What it is, you got to imagine your solar panels are like your uh, your truck. Um, you're like your truck engine in your vehicle. A lot of people run inverters on their vehicles for like uh, like your work trucks, different things that can have electrical tools to run. Well, they have a motor running the alternator which charges your battery. Well, that's the same um, in, where you can use an inverter. Same thing with the... Uh, same thing with solar panels. They're charging your battery just like an alternator would on a vehicle, but you're not using gas, you're using sunlight or wind power. And this is a ProWatt, ProWatt SW600 sine wave. And what sine wave is, it puts cleaner, cleaner electricity out. We can run, uh, we can run TVs, uh, computers, that kind of stuff, and won't damage anything, refrigerators, and that kind of stuff. 
a lot of stuff they got now is kind of high tech, so you don't want to use modified sine wave, you want to use sine wave. It's better on your equipment, plus they learn, use less power. Alright, let's crank it up and see what it should do. This is one of my stereo. I turn the button on right here. Turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then that's the, that's this wire right here going here. And this is running my this is running my uh, stereo and a bunch of other stuff. Plus, I'm charging my phone right now off my solar panel off my off my um system. I got I, I put in a 12 volt uh, cigarette power port. Works great. All this stuff is is just my wind stuff. Don't work. Don't paint this and that. This is just my off-grid system and it's simple solar panels up top charge controller if a charge controller you got markings solar negative positive positive negative and your battery you got positive negative that's it done deal well anyway uh, y'all have any questions on about this little simple system I got y'all give me a holler and right now, this is how many amps we're burning, or bringing in from the solar panels. 2.4 amps, 2.5, and bringing it at 16 volts. I mean, it's kicking. A little awkward system kicks. I can run this stereo system all day long. And look at, look at the. That tells you what you're drawing. Or what percentage of batteries are at right now? Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all enjoy. All right, y'all a great bunch of guys and gals out there. Love y'all. It's KVUSMC or Viral Over and out.